We're back with a new edition of Sundays with Serby, and this week, New York Post sports columnist Steve Serby connected with Giants wideout Isaiah Hodgins. And now, it's time for me to connect with Steve. Steve, how's it going? All right, Dex. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. Glad to be in 2023. Now, Steve, this Q&A, I learned a lot in this Q&A. I learned in your Q&A that Hodgins is a pretty big trash talker. We know he could dish it. But can he receive it, and does he keep trash talking if he's not backing up the talk? Oh, he'll he'll trash talk from the beginning of the game to the end. He actually told me he initiated his trash talk in Minneapolis against Patrick Peterson a week ago. So he loves to to get in the DB's head. He he loves to get them furious. He uh, he loves talking uh, smack with Saquon in the Giants locker room or on the on the field because Saquon is the one guy who takes it seriously even when Isaiah is kidding around so it 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 gets him going and it infuriates the DB and he is totally unfazed he loves if a DB starts trash talking to him it, it get, that gets him going too so this is a different cat and uh you know he's going to be a he's going to be a giant for a long time. I think. All right, you like that the trash. I, but what, I wanted to no. ask you, Dex. Excuse me for interrupting. Who who are some of your favorite trash talkers in sports? Um, of all time. Well, yeah. Gary Payton, being a big NBA fan, I loved Gary Payton's trash talking in the NBA. Man, he would tell anybody yeah. anything. You got to like that. Uh, Randy Moss in the NFL. You know he'd let you know. Uh, Terrell Owens as well too. Uh, big trash talker there that I like. I enjoy the trash talkers, but you got to be able to back it up, and you got to be able to take it when people come at you too. Well, I'm, well, it all started with Muhammad Ali. Cassius Clay slash ah, Muhammad Ali was talk about backing it up, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody is better trash talking than him. Yeah, he called the round. You're going down, but Larry Bird. Oh, Larry yeah. Bird was. Yeah, Larry Bird. Uh, yep. On on this little list, I have Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller, Gary yep. Payton, your guy is on the list. Mm -hmm. KG, KG was oh, yeah, KG. a notorious, right? Mm -hmm. Kobe talked some smack. Oh yeah, Kobe, one of my favorites, absolutely. Yep. Charles Barkley. Yep. How many baseball players? Not too many baseball players talk smack, are there? I don't know. Or you just don't get to see it in the in that way, that really directly. It feels like there's a lot of chirping after somebody gets drilled or something like that. So it's not really smack talk. We need more of that in baseball, though. We do. Yeah, Sha Shaq was another guy. Shaq talks smack. Oh yeah. Uh, and by the way, I spoke to several of your former uh, little league and pee wee coaches. Oh, did said you? that you said that you were a an, an unbelievable, notorious trash talker. Is that right? I plead the fifth on that one. I will plead the fifth on that. No comment at all. But one thing I do know, you are a trash talker among the sports media. You'll let some other sports media know if they're not bringing it. I've seen it. Uh, I'm not going to uh, <laughs> confirm or deny that. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll, we'll move on from that with the trash talking. But Hodgins, he's a six-round pick. Uh, from 2020, he's now with his second team with the Giants. What does he think of his development on the field, Steve? And how good does he believe that he can be in the NFL? Well, he believes he can be a number one receiver one day. His chemistry with Daniel Jones is growing weekly. Uh, he considers Daniel Jones a general and a possible top 10 quarterback as he keeps developing under Brian Dable. Uh, Hodgins also is in knows the Dable system from his days in Buffalo. That helps him. He's got excellent hands. Good. He's a good route runner. He watched how Stefan Diggs uh, perfected his craft. And uh, the only knock on Hodgins coming out of the draft, sixth round pick of the Bills, he ran a 4-6-1 at the NFL Combine. But he's bigger, stronger, and faster now. Now, he compares himself not on that level, but receivers that remind him of him are Keenan Allen and Devontae Adams. Not necessarily burners, but guys that can get separation and make contested catches. And um, look, his quote on his Instagram, you either evolve or you disappear. And this guy is really evolving. 
and uh, he's he pays attention to the criticism he's received over the year. He didn't like it when people called him injury prone after he had a shoulder injury at Oregon State, which required surgery once he got to the NFL. So he's got, uh, there's a lot of things that fuel this guy. His faith in God is another one. And, um, I, but I do have one question that I'd like to ask you, Dex, if you don't mind. Okay, yeah, always, I'm always here for the Q&A. Let's go. Well, no, I'm in, I'm in a fantasy championship game tomorrow. Okay. I'm benching Christian Kirk. Okay. Do, do I plug in Isaiah Hodgins? So it's to be sunny mid, mid. It's sunny in mid fifties today at at MetLife. What, what do you think? Mm. The way the Giants' offense is, I say no. I say do not uh, plug him in there. He should get some chances, but you never know. I think the Giants might be run heavy today against the Colts. So I'm going to say no. Stick with yeah, that. well, if, yeah, well, uh, your track record's not very good, so I'm going to plug him in. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I, all right, look, while I got you here, yes, while I got you here, in, in our rolling Q and A, I got a few few sure. questions for you. Okay, how about I didn't ask you your favorite all time movie? What do you think? Favorite all time movie is Malcolm X, Spike Lee. Favorite actor and favorite actress. Favorite actor Denzel Washington. Favorite actress. Sanaa Lathan. Favorite singer slash entertainer? Uh, I'm going to go with a rapper here, Jay-Z, favorite entertainer of all time. You're not rep represented by Rock Nation, are you? I have by not, any repre I'm not okay. represented okay. by Rock Nation. <laughs> just, just checking. And uh, favorite meal? Favorite meal, curry goat with rice and peas with a glass of sorrel on the side. That's a Caribbean dish out there for y'all that don't know. Love where, do get, where do you get where do you get where do you get that you get that at the Henry household I can make it I'm pretty good in the kitchen if you did not know Steve no I did not know that and now you know well I, how come I haven't had an, I haven't gotten an invite what's, uh, the, what's the deal here you know what? I knew that was happening is invite but there are other places we can go get it too. invite is coming we still we still have a, a dinner to do so we, we'll have to make that happen I got right, well, to get you some Caribbean cuisine. I got, we, we've talked about this. I got to get you some uh, yeah, more Caribbean I'm cuisine. open. I'm, I, I love all kinds of food, but uh, go. good to see you're not too hungover from your New Year celebration last night. <laughs> and uh, a happy New Year. We'll have a great 2023. A happy New Year to you, Steve. We're going to have a great 2023. And everybody, as 2023 starts, check out Steve's Q&A with Isaiah Hodges. That is Steve Serby, the great New York Post sports columnist. Steve. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, Dex.